Hello, I'm Adam Ackerman. Picture yourself earning $100,000 or more in 45 days or less, launching your own business selling physical products online, regardless of experience, without ever having to buy a single piece of inventory or risking a penny of your own money. Sound too good to be true? Over the next several minutes, I'll show you the exact step-by-step -step blueprint my business partners and I have used to generate over $2 million in sales the past 16 months. I absolutely guarantee you this is unlike any other training you have ever seen or heard before, and I'm sharing it right here with you for the first time. But before I dive in, I need to ask you an important question. Do you or someone you know shop for products and goods on websites like Amazon, Walmart, eBay, and Target? I'm guessing the answer is most likely yes. Consumers are getting used to the idea of buying physical products online. Amazon Prime Day, Black Friday, and Cyber Monday are just a few examples. Did you know that in 2017, the National Retail Federation found that 59% of people shopped online during the holiday season, marking for the first time ever that online is the more popular choice for shoppers. There are many reasons for this trend, but the two biggest are, retailers are making it easier for shoppers to get what they want when they want by using smartphones, tablets, and one-click upsells without ever having to leave the comfort of their home. The second is free shipping. With free shipping, the risk is almost eliminated. If you don't like the item you got, you simply send it right back. So do you think people will be buying more products online or less in the future? Now, based on the data, the answer is a lot more. Online sales are growing rapidly compared to brick and mortar sales. And who stands to win from this massive, unstoppable trend? People just like you and me, that's who. Now, creating financial freedom, in my opinion, has never been easier and selling physical products online allows you to leverage technology to build a real sustainable business that you can grow into a global brand or simply earn a few extra thousand dollars per month. Now the beauty is it's totally up to you. You see, the best part of selling online is that you no longer are trading time for dollars. Now what I mean by this is that once you create a product and place it on the internet for sale, the internet is now working for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you are making money even when you're asleep. This new way of doing business allows you to create a lifestyle that you may or may not have ever thought was possible. Imagine working from any place in the world. All you need is a laptop and an internet connection. So how do you get started? Traditionally, like in any business, you need to start by finding a product you want to sell. Then buy thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars worth of inventory by putting in your own money or giving away a substantial amount of equity. Then you need to build a website and somehow drive people to your site that want to buy what you're selling. This is exactly how I got started back in 2013. I invested a lot of my personal savings into education and inventory to start selling on Amazon. Now we've been fortunate enough to sell millions of dollars online, but it wasn't an easy journey. I struggled and I had my ups and downs. There were many days I thought about quitting, but through it all, I kept telling myself there has got to be a better way. And that is when I discovered what I consider to be the holy grail of launching and scaling multi-million dollar businesses online while using little to none of my own money. Now, regardless if you are a total beginner and have never sold anything online or you're a seasoned online seller, what I'm about to teach you is going to totally transform how you look at starting a business or expanding your current one. Rather than starting a business the old way, what if you could instead Generate $100,000 or more in sales your first 30 days in business while using other people's money. Pre-sell hundreds, if not thousands of units of your product before you ever spend a single penny on inventory. Build an email list of thousands of real customers that you can continue to monetize for years to come. Develop and create intellectual property for your brand that increases your company's valuation 10 times. Get online retailers begging to distribute your products and get Amazon the largest online retailer in the world banging down your door to work with you. So what is the exact strategy we now use to ignite seven-figure brands? Well, let me give you a hint. In 2016, this startup industry was a $25 billion global market. And by 2025, experts estimate that number will grow to 95 billion worldwide. The industry I'm referring to is crowdfunding. So what is crowdfunding? It's the coming together of individuals from all over the world who want to support ideas and products by pre-ordering or pledging money in exchange for a product at a future point in time. 
people actually want to give you money to start your business in hopes that you will send them one of your first pre-production runs of your product at some point in the future. Simplistically put, you get your profit first, then make the products, and then ship your products months later, rather than the traditional model of buying inventory, selling it, and making a profit. We call these people backers, and this is a complete game changer. Believe it or not, there are millions of these backers just looking to buy cool and innovative products. They want to support startups and growing businesses. The best part is, is that you never have to pay this money back or give up any shares in your company. You keep 100% of the funds and you retain 100% ownership of your business. This virtually eliminates all risk associated with starting a business. Before we dive into today's lesson, I want to share with you some of the results we have personally achieved using crowdfunding. John Golly, co-founder of Crowdfunding Cash, is a 75-year-old self-proclaimed tech turkey. I can actually attest to that. He's a retired attorney who helped his friend introduce an innovative eyewear product to the market. John heard about crowdfunding and saw it as an opportunity to beta test their prototype and judge people's reaction to it, but he was not prepared for what came next. Knowing next to nothing about crowdfunding, John launched the sunglasses on a crowdfunding website called Kickstarter.com, and all hell broke loose. Within 30 days, they pre-sold 2,881 sunglasses and raised over $348,000 in backer pledges, which was a Kickstarter record at the time. John has gone on to launch several other campaigns, raising hundreds of thousands more in backer pledges. In 2016, after selling successfully online for a few years, I was looking to launch a new passion business in the cooking and home space. I was introduced to a company that specialized in making kitchen knives. They had developed a brand new technology that was absolutely going to revolutionize the market and I was able to negotiate favorable terms for both sides. But no one had ever heard of my new company, so getting the word out there would be a bit of a challenge. That's when I remember my good friend John had recently broken a crowdfunding record of his own. I called John up and we spoke about the knives and decided that crowdfunding would be the perfect platform to launch my new brand, Habitat Housewares. In October 2016, the campaign went live and by November, we had pre-sold 6,000 chef knives and raised over $550,000 in backer pledges. One year later, we launched another campaign that helped generate an additional $430,000 in backer pledges. That's a million dollars in sales in my first 12 months of business, leveraging the power of the crowd. Think about how powerful this is. To be able to launch a product and generate thousands of dollars of revenue before you have to invest a single dollar in inventory? Many of my Amazon and e-commerce friends have asked John and myself how we're able to achieve such amazing results and will we help them with their products and brands. Now John and I have experienced a lot of success utilizing crowdfunding as a way to grow and scale our businesses. We believe people need to know how powerful this strategy is and we want to share what we have learned so that others can see similar results and avoid making the same mistakes we have. One of our goals is to be the trusted source for everything crowdfunding for business owners and entrepreneurs. We love the space and are committed to providing the best education possible. Unlike other selling platforms, there really is no direct competition. Each campaign is its own offering, so sharing this information and developing a community of crowdfunders will only help each other in the long run. The good news for you is that John and I have made mistakes that we're going to help you avoid. We have taken this seemingly complex strategy and broken it down into bite-sized, easily digestible pieces. Basically, there are just four primary steps you need to follow in order to crush it with crowdfunding. First, you need to select the right product to sell and work with the right manufacturing partner. This is obviously critical, but don't worry. Using our product selection process, we will show you how to find products with tremendous upside potential and how to select the right suppliers. Second, you need to know how to develop and position your brand story as well as produce your campaign page and video. We will reveal the exact script and formula we use to consistently produce $100,000 campaign launches. Third, you need to launch your product on a crowdfunding website. We use a few very special techniques to immediately get lots of sales so you start making money. John and I have a battle-tested step-by-step system we have developed to help launch your campaign and build sales throughout the entire process. This is something we have never revealed to anyone and is the primary reason for our successful campaigns. Fourth, you need to find a third-party fulfillment center to ship out all your orders. This helps automate your business so you never have to touch or manage any inventory. This will allow you to run your business any place in the world. 
creating a lifestyle business if this is something that appeals to you. You can do this part-time or full-time, it doesn't matter. No need to worry about dealing with your own warehouse or anything like that. Over the next few days, we're going to teach you each of these four steps. This video is the first of a four-part series. By the end of watching each of these four videos, you will know the process for building this business the right way. I will lay it all out on the table, the good and the bad. You want to watch each video in order so you don't miss anything. By the time we're done, you'll know more about crowdfunding and how to launch a product than 99% of all active crowdfunders. In this video, we're going to cover the two main crowdfunding platforms we recommend and how to select the right kind of product to sell. If you follow the product selection process you're about to learn, you'll have a great product that you will be able to profit from for years to come. Now, when it comes to selecting the right website to launch your crowdfunder on, there are really only two sites we use when launching our campaigns. The first one is kickstarter.com and the second one is indiegogo.com. Now, each platform allows you an opportunity to generate backer pledges for your product for 30 to 60 days. This creates a definitive timeline a campaign will remain active and creates a sense of urgency. Each website generates millions of unique visitors per month that are looking for products to back and support. You will receive your funds approximately 14 days after the campaign ends. Each platform charges a 5% success fee for using the site and 3% for credit card processing based on the total amount of money you've raised. Now these sites host your campaign and keep track of all your backers and pledges coming into the site for you. Now that you understand the difference between the two platforms, let's cover how to identify and source your million dollar product. We get asked all the time, how do you come up with or create a product? What we have seen is that in most cases, people find themselves in one or two categories. One, they have no product or idea, or two, they already have an idea for a product, but they're just not sure how to bring it to market. In either scenario, they would love to do a crowdfunding campaign. This is not a problem. I'm going to show you that regardless of which scenario you find yourself in, the tactics and strategies are the same. For instance, there are several ways to identify new product opportunities. After analyzing thousands of products, including our own, we have found that the most successful campaigns are the ones that launch products that follow these nine criteria. Number one, try and get the product to weigh less than five pounds. For shipping, it'll be ideal and will save you money on the long run. Number two, have smaller dimensions to them. You really don't want to ship anything large or bulky. Number three, it has a perceived retail value of $49 to $149. We found that that's the sweet spot for price points when selling on crowdfunding. Number four, are they easy to use and simple to understand? You don't want something that's overly complicated. Something simple is better. Number five, does not require a tremendous amount of development. Number six, has few moving parts. Number seven, your cost should be between $5 and $20 to make the product, and you should be able to sell it for four times your cost plus shipping. Number eight, will the product have long-term consumer appeal? Meaning, can you sell it for years to come? And number nine, can you introduce more products to your brand that complement the original product? Now, these are just guidelines and are not definitive by any stretch but give you a good idea of what sells best. It's important to note that the product you do choose must be unique in some way. This does not mean you need to reinvent the wheel. What I'm talking about is a small modification. This is called an iteration, which is the actual word Kickstarter and Indiegogo use in making it clear that this is okay in function or design. The five main attributes that constitute an iteration in Kickstarter and Indiegogo's eyes are the following. One, is it a new technology? Two, does it have a unique story? Three, does it have a different design? Four, does it function in a different way? And number five, can the product be repurposed in some way? So it's important to understand that no matter what angle you take, it's important to capitalize on that. Design and function to me are the easiest ways to develop a product idea. So now that you know what criteria and guidelines constitute a great crowdfunding product, it's now time to learn how to search and validate your ideas. Now there are basically three websites I will go to in researching and validating product ideas. Amazon.com, Kickstarter.com, and Indiegogo.com. For training purposes, let's assume you are interested and passionate about home products just like I am. 
Well, I typically start with Amazon because they have millions of consumer goods and they rank them so you can see what is popular and what is not by looking at a product's bestseller ranking, which is located on the product page. There are six steps that we use when researching and validating potential product ideas. Step one, start with your passion. Now it may sound a bit cliche, but the saying when you do what you love, you never work a day in your life has serious merit. If you love being outdoors, then choose a product in that category. If you love to ski, bike, hike, or run, then maybe that makes sense for you. Now I love to cook, so that was attractive to me. Once you have a few ideas of hobbies or interests you could see yourself building a business around, then it's time to start looking for your products. Step number two. If you currently have an idea for a product, I will cover how to validate your product idea in just a few minutes. If you have no product or are not sure how to find one, I always start by going to Amazon.com first and clicking on the department link on the left-hand side of the page based on the category your passion falls in. Now try and identify at least 10 possible product ideas based on the criteria I mentioned earlier. I suggest creating a spreadsheet for yourself and writing them down. Make sure to also include keywords or search terms you would use as a consumer if you were searching for this product on Amazon or Google. This will help you do additional research in a later step. Now step number three, click on the product page and take a look to see what that particular product's bestseller ranking is. You do this by scrolling to the middle of the page. A good range would be between zero and 5,000. The bestseller ranking will give you a baseline on how popular a product is within a certain category. So for example, a shower head is 56 in the shower heads category. This tells us that out of approximately 56,000 products, this particular shower head ranks 56. This is good because it shows there's a lot of demand for this product and consumers are already searching for it. Duplicate this step for all 10 product ideas. Step number four. Next, you must see what design or function changes you can create to make this product different using the five guidelines I gave you earlier. I typically do this by typing in the main keyword on Amazon for the product I just researched. In this scenario, I would type in showerhead. I would then go through the top 10 results and read their one and two star reviews. Are you seeing a pattern amongst them? Are customers complaining about a certain aspect of the showerhead that they would like to see different? In your spreadsheet, take notes so that you can remember what stood out and ideas that you might have to make them better. Once you have identified one or two possible iterations, then I go to Kickstarter and Indiegogo and search for my main keyword to see if someone else has tried a similar product. Based on that, if you do see someone who has tried something similar, how did it do? How much money did it raise? How many backers did it get? Overall idea of the campaign itself. So you can see by searching showerhead on Indiegogo, we have a match. So now we have two product validations, one from Amazon and now one from Indiegogo. This is a good sign. But just because you find a product on Amazon that meets your criteria but doesn't show up on Kickstarter or Indiegogo as actual campaign someone's run in the past doesn't mean it's not a great idea. It just means no one has done it yet, which is actually a great thing. Step number five. I focus on the top three to four product ideas and identify what iterations I can make. For the shower head, we discovered by reading the poor reviews that water pressure, water usage, and cheap materials seem to be the largest complaints. So now we know exactly what we need to address for our product design. Step number six. Once I kind of have all the pieces of the puzzle in place, I then ask myself, can I build a following around my product? And am I excited about the product? You know, obviously millions of people around the world have homes and are becoming increasingly more conscious about water usage. So I've identified two passionate and unique audiences that I know I can build a business around. All three of these complaints can be addressed by simply developing a new design or minor enhancement with a manufacturing partner who specializes in shower heads. So this will not be difficult to do. Another example staying in the kitchen category is whisks and spatulas. These are items that people use daily. How can you create a crowdfunding campaign for these basic items? Remember what I said, simple design changes is all you need in most cases. 
So on Amazon, I look for these items and quickly see that they are top sellers with mass consumer appeal. I read the reviews and see that people want thicker whisks and one-piece spatulas. So here's an example of a brand of a friend of mine that just generated over $200,000 in backer pledges. They took common everyday products and saw an opportunity to make them better. They took more of a design and function approach, which is what I strongly recommend you do for your first few campaigns. Another way to find product inspiration is to look at your current portfolio of products, assuming you are already selling physical products on your own website or Amazon.com. What small tweak can you make to an existing product that would set it apart from the competition? Now I own a men's grooming brand called Shaveology. I am simply creating a new design to an otherwise old and outdated model. This is what a typical razor looks like. This is what my new razor will look like. I'm using a new design and some different metals to create a unique story for my brand, which I will then use to launch a new campaign on Kickstarter. The functionality and desired purpose hasn't changed with either the whisk or the razor, but the design is different. This is all you need to do to generate great success. So those are the six steps that we use to identify and validate potential product ideas. Congratulations. You are now well on your way to launching your very first crowdfunding campaign. You've just learned how big of an opportunity crowdfunding really is and why it makes sense to start a business leveraging the power of the crowd. Which crowdfunding platforms are best for your campaign and how to identify and create million dollar product ideas by leveraging Amazon.com. With what you have just learned, you are already way ahead of the vast majority of other crowdfunders and have increased the level of success you can achieve launching your campaign. But we're just getting started. Remember, there are four videos in this series. In the next video, which we release on Thursday, February 8th, you're going to learn how to find the best suppliers and manufacturers to create your new products, develop your first prototype, build your brand story, as well as how to create amazing videos and campaign pages that will get your potential backers excited to back your new product. And as a special bonus, we've included the exact Excel template we use when researching product ideas. Simply enter your email below the video as soon as you finish watching and you'll get instant access to the product research document, as well as one more bonus. We're going to provide you the top 10 crowdfunding categories to focus your time on and the ones to avoid. I strongly suggest you complete the product selection process exercise before video two so that you get into action right away. Now this is our gift to you to get you started on this incredible journey. We'll see you on the next video.